Hi, Jenna here. In this video, we are going to touch on the secondary ailments that really stem from leaky gut. And I'm not really just talking about the symptoms, um, but the diagnoses, what the symptoms turn into years after not being corrected. And so as we talked about, leaky gut is that breakdown of your defenses. And so you have particles that are constantly invading your bloodstream. So the bloodstream is going to take it, it's going to carry it throughout the body, and a lot of times it stores in different areas of the body. So it could be different organs or different joints. So some of the first symptoms you may realize, and especially for those who have a gluten sensitivity and took out gluten, it's the joint pain, it's the brain fog, um, and it can be stored in the liver or in different organs of the body also. When those are untaken care of for years, is when it can turn into autoimmune diseases. So rheumatoid arthritis, MS, lupus, um, you know, really just to name a few, a few. And by no means do all autoimmune diseases stem from leaky gut. Not just autoimmune diseases that can come from the inflammation that is being uh, stimulated from particles going into the bloodstream, being stored inside of an organ or a joint or a part of the body, after so long, that body creates immune responses. It creates a um, red flag that's gonna go off every time. And if it's stored in the same place, that will start to attack that same organ, attack itself, which is what an autoimmune disease is. And so the best part is if you have an autoimmune disease that did stem from leaky gut, is manageable. It can be reversed and it can be healed and your immune system can get put back in check. Other secondary ailments that can come from leaky gut would be infections. So different blood infections. It can be candida. It can be um, E. coli. It can be different yeast infections. Um, so the immune system is compromised. Your GI is 80% of your immune system. And so when you have a leaky gut syndrome, your immune system is also compromised. When your immune system is compromised, again, you have some autoimmune issues, but it also allows infections to go more rampant. You don't have that opportunity, your first line of defense with your immune system to keep um, different bacteria or viruses in check. Your GI being compromised also means that your body is not able to break down the nutrients that is needed um, or may not be able to synthesize them or absorb them correctly. You may not have the proper enzymes or the microbiome to really carry out the functions of what needs to happen to all the food that you internalize. So at that point, malnourishment, malnutrition can be a long-term ailment that comes from leaky gut. Um, different ailments and these are all these ailments that I am talking about really have grown over time you know it's, it's the gut isn't something that you change something for a few days and then magically is healed you know it is something that takes time and it takes work and it takes um, very specific nutrients that are are used for those um, different layers of your GI to to heal and so with repetitive year after year, day after day, or maybe even multiple times a day, of an immune response being triggered, of your defenses being up from invaders going into your immune system, is really what wears down the system, causing more of the larger effects that you just can't ignore. The symptoms in the beginning, sure, we can ignore it. We can ignore the headache, we can ignore the joint pain with some little Advil, or we can ignore, um, the itchy skin once in a while, all these symptoms, we, we really just don't pay attention to them. We say, ah, it could be from anything. And we don't really pay attention to them until they're not ignorable anymore and they turn it into something that we can tangibly put a diagnosis on and now we have that wake up moment. And at that point, we're in the doctor's office and either they have a solution or they have a pill um, or they have a cream or they have something, but we're never really getting to the root cause of what started it in the first place. All right, so our next video, we're gonna go into just the symptoms um, and some of the healing protocols that are very specific when you're looking at targeting GI healing. Thanks.
Thank you, everyone. I am so excited to share with you all of my tips and tricks and insights when it comes to leaky gut. So please subscribe and join our Freedom from Leaky Gut Facebook group to learn more.